probably sweaty face. I've been outside doing a lot of yard work and making a new garden box. Right now, before I run to the uh, home improvement stores yet again today, I'm going to marinate some portobello mushrooms. First, I've got a big Ziploc bag. And I've got some lovely portobello mushrooms, so I'm just going to put those in my bag. I've got four of them for leftovers. Next I have bell peppers and onions. I just sliced the onion and left it round. You can cut them in half too, but I think whatever you want to do works. Add that to your bag. Alright. Mushrooms, onions, bell peppers. Next we're going to do some marinade. So, soy sauce. I do not measure for this. It kind of depends on how much you're doing. Mm. This is a little harder than I thought. So, soy sauce, tamari, whatever, probably at least half a cup. I'm going to do a little bit of water. Feel free to also throw in some, um, like olive oil. I just don't have much. I'm going to do a little rice vinegar to give it a little um, tartness. That's a few tablespoons, two or so. Then the most important part is spices. The ever lovely garlic. I'm going to do a little onion powder just to get the onions. And I've got this uh, Berber from, or Burberry, I don't know how to say it in all honesty. Penzi's Mastor. This has some cayenne in it. You can do whatever you want. I think I like fajita or chili powder would be good. Blend. Ooh, might be a little. And see all my juice. It's kind of light. I'm going to add some more of the tamari soy sauce. Alright, important part. Zip up your bag. Now we're going to make sure we get all those spices mixed around. Yeah, this looks good. So, my bag's coated in a lovely red color. There's still some juice in here. What you're going to do is stick this in the fridge. Probably come back in half an hour or so and shake it again. Flip it around. Get those juices on different vegetables and different parts of the mushrooms. And we're going to let that just marinate in the fridge until I'm ready to cook. Probably go do this on the grill, but I definitely have done this in the cast iron. Um, a skillet type and it works wonderful. I just, you just throw it all in together and cook it until it is, well, until the mushrooms are cooked basically. Alright, I'm going to stick this in the fridge and we'll come back and check on it later. I use tongs to take the vegetables out of the bag, put them on this mat I bought at Menards for a few bucks. We'll cook it on medium heat for about 12 minutes and flip it halfway. Hey, it's the next day. It got crazy busy yesterday. I spent the whole day making that garden box. So I ended up not even cooking up the mushrooms. But they sat in the fridge overnight and just soaked up that marinade. So today I grilled them, and I realized I never bought any buns. They work perfect on a bun. You just plop them on. But you can also make a fajita. I 
cut them into slices or sliced them I guess and put the vegetables in with them and I'm going to eat this here I would recommend letting the marinade sit at least two hours but more does not hurt make sure you use lots of seasoning like I said I don't measure this I just kind of dump it don't coat the bag and it honestly coats the mushrooms too so I'll use at least two tablespoons of your main seasoning and maybe another tablespoon of garlic and whatever else you want to throw in there and just be careful these can are juicy they the mushrooms soak up all that marinade and liquid so if you're eating them while they're hot you can definitely burn yourself eat over a plate and have a napkin handy I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know I enjoyed making it and I'm going to enjoy eating this mushroom fajita right now I will see you next week bye stay safe